Um, and our next person up is Alex Plank. And Alex uh, created the website wrongplanet.net. All right. Um, ah, there we go. <laughs> wow. Um, this is an honor to be able to speak in front of you guys. I have to say that um, I've really uh, enjoyed being at this conference, and uh, I'd like to thank the ASA folks. Um, basically, uh, I, I've always been different my entire life, and, um, and I always knew it, you know. And um, ever since I was young, you know, I really didn't know what was wrong with me. Um, I, and I think that's, that's a sentiment that a lot of people with, with autism share. I'm sure you've heard it before, so I apologize for being redundant. Um, but, um, I, you know, I was bullied in school uh, one time, uh, and, you know, and the teachers didn't help. In fact, the uh, principal uh, got all the kids in my class one time into her office, and I, you know, with me, and uh, they got to go sit, sit around in a circle and, and say what they didn't like to, about me. Um, so... You know, and, and that's, that's, that's like kind of mild compared to a lot of people. Um, uh, I've, I've seen stories on my, my website of kids, kids getting uh, put in lockers, um, you know, had their heads flushed in toilets, um, you, know, in, you know, humiliated by teachers. So, so I think it's improving, and, and, and that's just something I just wanted to mention. But I started this website when I was 17. I got diagnosed at age nine with Asperger's syndrome, and it was a relief to finally know uh, why, why I was so different. And, and immediately upon, you know, sort of learning about Asperger's, I, I went online and I uh, attempted to find other people like me. Um, of course, I, other people like me not only meant that they were autistic, but that they were you know obsessed with computers and um, specifically the Linux operating system. Needless to say, um, it was hard enough to find you know a couple autistic people that were my own age, um, much less um, anyone who you know like computers. Luckily, I actually uh, met a really good friend who um, also had autism, and, and he helped me start WrongPlanet.net. We decided to start this um, because you know at the time we really wanted to find people um, who were like us. And, and, and there really was, it was hard because, you know, the internet was relatively new and autistic people are not, you know, known, known as, you know, good at social interactions, much less, you know, creating communities. You know, we're the ones who are getting, you know, thrown out of the community. So um, you can see that that, that um, posed a problem. Uh, so basically, um, I started the site, and uh, within a couple of days, we had a couple hundred members, and I, I was surprised uh, a little bit, but, you know, at the same time, I just, I realized how much people really, you know, felt alone in the world, you know, it's, and, it, and, and being lonely is not something that, you know, that I, I think anyone would want for anyone, much less, you know, a kid who's already has enough stuff to deal with with school and, you know, um, stuff like that. So... Right now, Wrong Planet has 37,000 members, um, and we're basically growing strong. And, and, and it's just it's just amazing, um, uh, just the people I've been able to meet on on my website. You know, I I've, I found a girlfriend at one point who lasted for you know almost two years before uh, before I was traded in. Or, well, actually, I wasn't even traded in. I was just, you know, discarded, and I guess she decided to take the uh, subway. <laughs> um, I, I've met people all around the world, and, and autistic people, you know, you think they're not socially, you know, good, but, but you know, the people that I've met are so genuine. Um, and at this conference, the people I've met, you know, it just, I think that, that, you know, there's a lot of misconceptions about autism, and, and one of them is that, you know, autistic people don't want friends, or they don't want to fit in, they don't want to, you know, have a girlfriend. Well, that's ridiculous. Um, well, I want those things a lot, you know, I, I want friends, and, and I didn't have any, you know. You know, growing up, you know, without an, any knowledge of, of my condition until I was nine is hard enough. Um, there are people on my website who are 60, 70, even 80 years old, 
and they only learn about Asperger's after, you know, I don't know, their son or, or grandson got diagnosed, and they were like, wait a minute, that's, he's exactly like me. Well, no wonder. Now I'm finally, you know, know why I'm different. And, and I think the internet is a great way for autistic people to interact. Um, you know, there's so many venues and, and avenues. And, and, and with Wrong Planet, what we've basically done is, is created a community where people can feel safe. You know, parents can come on there and, you know, and coexist with, with children and, and coexist with professionals without, you know, without being called, you know, names and, and, and having any nastiness. It's a really positive environment where, where you can basically be yourself and, and you're not going to get outcasted because of it. In fact, you know, it's the wrong planet, so, you, you know, you're right at home. Um, well, that's, you know, the name. Um, and so we have, we have like, m millions of posts on there, um, and I'm not even exaggerating. It literally is millions. And, and, and I think that, that just shows how, how many people are out there who are trying to, you know, find support, you know? Like, I have articles on social skills and that have, you know, and, and interviews with people that have gotten like, you know, like, you know, almost a million views. And, and you know, every day our, our page gets like 3,000, you know, unique visitors, right? You know, when, when this screenshot was downloaded, there were 824 people online. Um, I didn't even know there were 824 autistic people when I got diagnosed. <laughs> um, and I don't know, you know, I, I, and I hope what I'm telling you guys isn't something you've already heard or, um, you know, something that, you know, is, is you know, time and time again said, but um, it, it's still hard. When I, was, when I was in high school, you know, my parents basically thought I wasn't going to graduate. Um, you know, I, I, I didn't want to go to school. I stayed home on purpose and, and, and threw, uh, threw China plates against my wall. I mean, there wasn't anyone there to get hurt, but, you know, I, I definitely broke a lot of Dansk plates. Uh, we've replaced quite a few, you know, because I, I didn't have any other outlet. Anyway, my time's up, but um, I just want to thank ASA. This is, you know, a wonderful conference, dazzling, um, and yeah, all right. So, Alex, can I ask you a question? You can ask me a question. How many hours do you spend <laughs> in a day uh, blogging versus corresponding with people on your blog? Well, <laughs> um... When you say day, does that include like the 24-hour period? You know. That would be yeah. Yeah. Um. You know, I get a a text message, you know, in the middle of the night that you know something's wrong. I have to fix it. You know. <laughs> Thank gosh, I uh, found a uh, a good hosting company. Actually, I I was talking about how the server wouldn't. It, it got so slow. You know, I'm you know paying hundreds of dollars per month to host this thing on servers. We're actually now located in the heart heart of the internet, but um. I, one of the guys on my website is like, well, you know, I work for a hosting company. We can do it. You know, we're all autistic. And I'm like, well, that makes sense, you know, that you would be autistic and have your own hosting company. I like that idea. All right. So, Thank, yeah. Thank you, Alex, very much.